What is going on guys? Welcome back commentary for you. This is it, the banger video, right? This is the one that had to be done. Kenny Rogers, no one to hold him, no one to fold him, no one to walk away. This was the ace up her sleeve, the gambler. Put it all together there. And she did the right thing. I'm not even going to say it. She knows what she does as a creator. This channel right here, Foodie Beauty, seven days ago, 13,000 views. Sala and Chantal, seven days, four and a half thousand views. She knew she had to get the most exposure because this is going to be the one that everyone wanted to watch. And she comes out in front of it and says, I expect there to be judgment about this lovely place, but don't you fret. I would live in a box as long as I could be with Salah. I have never in my life seen a MTV episode of Cribs like this. I've never seen someone refer to the front door area, meaning the area where the door opens in a home. But nevertheless, that's where we are. You've got two sofas tucked tantalizingly but tightly into a room where there is a snack drawer, a gaming chair and desk, a TV, and a keyboard holding table. From there, we go to the bathroom, which is uh, interesting to say the least. She shows us how a squeegee works and what a squeegee is and tells us that it's better than a mop. From there, we go into the all-in-one kitchen laundry room combo that has a microwave, a single burner, and a rolling cart for your tea and soup needs. And then we go into where the magic happens. And by where the magic happens, I mean the bedroom that has two candles, two dumbbells, and a TV where apparently they watch themselves on TV with their couples channel. And that's it. I will say that there's no shame in living in a smaller place. There's absolutely no shame in minimalist living, but I will offer when you project a certain type of lifestyle, when you borderline come online and degrade others that maybe make less than you do, have less viewers, less subscribers, when you talk about someone owning a business, when you talk about being a boss, when you talk about having a villa, you inherently set expectations, and when they're not met, you have to hold that. And you can't hold that by saying people are being judgmental towards me. No. You are the one that made all these grand claims. You are the one that set these grand expectations. And now you are the one seemingly, if we discount the bathroom and kitchen, living in a two-room flat. People are going to have something to say, Miss CEO. Love to know your guys' thoughts on this. Appreciate you watching it. I'll be back soon as I can with more coming.